hey guys many of you were requesting me to create a video on google collab so how collab works how to import the data in collab or how to learn the deep learning models and other models in collab right so in this video i am going to walk you through the basics everything about google collab right what is google collab why google collab is there how to use google collab when is google collab most useful for us and then i am going to show you the practical implementation of how you do various kind of things using google collab for free okay so welcome to unfold data science my name is aman and i am a data scientist let's start the discussion so the very first thing is what is google collab for some of you who has not seen the interface or who is not very aware of what is google collab right so google collab is nothing but a free notebook environment that runs on cloud okay so when i say google cloud it is nothing but the same thing on which your google drive stores your files right provided by google so includes gpu support as well so one important thing to understand here is google collab gives you like other google platforms drive and mail and other platforms google collab also give you lot of things for free so in this case it gives you gpu support for free i'm going to show you how this works okay next is why google collab why google collab people are using or what are the benefits of using google collab so there are many benefits which i have listed here you can write and execute code in python as you do in your local jupiter you can create upload and share notebooks as you can do in your local machine right you can import save notebooks from and to google drive so you can save your notebook in google drive import it in collab and work on that you can publish it on various platforms directly like github right you can import external data sets like if you want to uh import a kaggle data you can import directly you can easily integrate pytorch tensorflow keras open cv these kind of libraries are easily integrable because it runs on cloud hence it is fast and you no need to worry about the package import complexities and those things google collab will take care of these things okay and then comes the most important point what is this is free cloud service with free gpu okay so you don't need to pay anything to google for this Google will give you some limit but within that limit you can very well use you can work with your own data you can create and train very good models get that in your local pass it to someone whatever many options right so having said all these benefits uh, i want to show you a step by step process of how to work with google collab okay so how do we run the google collab notebook how do we integrate our data in google collab and how do we get the external data in google collab so let us see one by one okay now i am going to my browser here guys so what you have to open first is ensure that your google collab works on your gmail login okay which means your google account okay so i am here inside a website collab.research.google.com okay so you have to go inside this website collab.research.google.com okay so google collab will open for you now the thing is you should also be logged into google drive so any of the account right if you are logged into any of your google account then it will open for you and first thing that is there are some introduction of collab if you see so collaborate uh, collaboratory or collab for short allows you to write and execute python in your browser with zero configuration required so you don't need to configure anything free access to gpus as i told you an easy sharing so these are the some of the basic things about collab okay let me directly go ahead and show you how to create a notebook so go to file and say new notebook so in my case i have some of the notebook so i can say open notebook as well which will open like this so when first time when you open google collab a window like this will come so what you have to do is you have to create a new notebook okay so you can just cancel this and go here and create a new notebook so this notebook will look very similar to your jupiter notebook that you run in your local okay but the difference is this notebook is supported by google and it's running on google cloud hence it is very uh, what do you say very advantageous in terms of space and memory constraints it is very beneficial in terms of running complex models right so this is what you can see the first thing i will do here is i will just name it so let us say aman collab tutorial right this is the name of this notebook right 
basic this is a very simple python notebook guys nothing else here just that it is running on cloud okay print i can write any python command i can say print hello world so either shift enter will run this or you can say the run button here as well okay so i am pressing shift enter it is running so it is connecting if you can see it is connecting for the first time hence it is taking some time it is initializing here right connected and this is printed now you don't need to worry about package import and other things any package you want to import it will be here okay so you can see pandas is available data reader is available pandas profiling is also available so many pandas packages are already here so if i say shift enter it will get imported okay so this is how basic python commands you can run here now what next so suppose you want to share this let let's go from here file okay go to file so what you can do here you can locate a file in the drive which means this file is already there in my drive so let me let me go to my google drive and i will show you so in my google drive let me go to my collab notebooks okay so as you can see here aman collab tutorial which i created just now is here okay so this is already inside my drive my google drive there is a folder created collab notebooks inside that that file is already present what next as you can see open in playground mode so playground mode is nothing but for debugging purpose okay new notebook open notebook upload notebook all these things save a copy in drive okay so if you want to save let's say you want a checkpoint kind of thing and you want to save a copy let, let me click this here so what it is saying creating a copy in drive so when i go back to my drive here google drive since everything is google's guys so it is linked actually okay so you can see here copy of aman collab tutorial is saved here okay so if you want to save a copy come here what is inside file now save a copy in github so you can directly save a copy in github revision history you can download a python file or ipy notebook file in your local so let me download a python file in my local okay so in my local it is getting downloaded now i will go to my downloads aman collab tutorial is downloaded and let me open with notepad plus so this is nothing but what whatever we have written print hello world import panda js pd these two lines only this is a python file now okay in my local similarly i can download the ipython notebook also from here as you can see the option is coming here okay these are important things now what is there you can move the cells up and down this is nothing but you can link to the cell which cell should run you can insert a message or comment like this right so many comments you can insert i created this today some comment about this cell right comment okay and you can take it in a separate window and do this you can delete this cell right like, like this okay so as you can see the ram and disk that google has given you it will be printed here ram 0.75 gb out of 12.72 gb is what i am using disk out of 107 i am using 30 or i have used 30 you can say okay now let me delete this comment first comment is deleted okay so in edit this is very similar to your jupyter notebook so no need to explain many things here okay in view you can insert a new cell you can insert run after run before tools all these things i am going to explain you some important things here guys first is how do you save a copy let us say this is editor okay so here you can change the font size and these things right so if i say font size 18 and i say save then my font size increases so these kind of settings you can do from here collab pro is nothing but some more features right and then editor settings and then site so now suppose i want to have a file of my own inside the google drive in, inside the google collab let us say you have a csv file you want to use that file inside the collab for some work how to do that okay so as i told you google collab typically relates or typically integrates with your google drive as you can see all my files are getting saved in google drive only okay so in my google drive i have put a file here if you can see this is my google drive i have put a file here very simple file which i used for many of my explanation before as well as i can see as you can see there will be a pima india diabetes data which i have put here somewhere uh, um, yeah so pima indian diabetes this data you see pima indian diabetes data csv okay now i want to use this file in my 
Aman collab tutorial okay so how to do that I'm going to show you what you have to do guys is from okay I will import a package here from Google from Google dot collab okay import drive I'm importing a package called drive okay and then I'm saying drive dot mount okay drive dot mount co content okay content and I want to name my drive something known as G drive okay so what I'm saying through these two commands is uh, from using this drive command just mount my Google Drive in this particular notebook okay I'm running this what you can see here is go to this URL in a browser so there is a URL coming okay if you click on this URL guys it will take you to a Google sign in okay let me go to my account here so I need to sign in if I sign in here I say allow so it will ask you different options if I say allow there will be a code coming you have to copy this code okay you have to copy this code please copy this code and switch to your application and paste it copy this code come here paste it here and say enter okay if I say enter then my device should get my Google Drive should get mounted here so as you can see mounted at content G Drive now how to verify if this has been mounted come here on the left hand panel okay so come inside these folders and come here G Drive is what I created now okay in G Drive if I go there is a my drive option in my drive you can see all these files whichever is there in my uh, Google Drive right so all these files are here so Pema in Indian diabetes data is what I wanted to read now I will go and copy the path of this I will come here and say my data is equal to pandas I have already imported read underscore csv and I will just give this path right I will just give this path and say enter okay now as you can see my data has been read my data dot head enter okay so my data has been read in Google Colab now I can very use very well use this data in Google Colab and work on this data okay tomorrow I want to uh, uh, read any other data any other csv file is there I will do nothing I will come to my drive and I will just say upload files and I will upload that file and that will be anyway mounted on my collab which I can use right so this is how you can use a local file which is with you in your Google Drive in your collab right but there is another way in which you can directly import the file from websites like Kaggle okay so if you want me to explain that part as well that might take another five seven eight minutes this video is getting little long if you want me to explain that part as well I will create a video and show you a step by step process of how you can import a data directly from an external website okay so suppose a data is lying on an external website you can directly import that in collab and work with that okay so these are the few basic things this is code this is text you can you can write text in bold italics for example hi my name is Aman I just say this part as bold so it will be bold okay and if I run this right you will see that that Aman part which I selected is here did not become bold maybe I remove that okay so this is the part Aman is bold now right so many things you can do you can also insert your list so many times you want to insert your list and all right so uh, for example for some comments you want to insert an indented block for some comments you want to insert a list kind of thing for some comments unordered list right so all these things you can do inside the uh, collab very very easily very nicely and very fast okay so this is about basics of collab as I told you I can create more videos if you want me to write me in comment all your doubts try to run a basic simple code in collab and try to you know fetch the data from local and both way around right from this side to that side try to write the data back into your local and see how it is working let me know what doubts you have I'll show you another interesting example another interesting video till then stay safe and take care